beloved. I'm excited about this fast and I wanna share with you the rest of my fasting tips. Let's look at numbers seven through 12. I wanna talk about the importance of building faith, Holy Spirit living inside of us. The idea behind understanding the physical benefits as a motivator, keeping vision in front and center, maintaining community and asking the Lord daily for strength. Now, building faith and keeping faith strong during the fast is really helpful. Read a book on fasting or reread a book on fasting. Keep that fire burning. Make sure you're reading an author that has some experience really in mobilizing fasting to the degree that you want to be mobilized. Some of the Franklin Hall resources are fantastic for that. And he actually was able to mobilize an entire fasting movement through uh, what God did with him back in the 40s. Next is to, oh, let, let me close out that point by saying, so I read this as a devotional during a long fast. Maybe not every day, but 80% of the days I'm spending time in a book on fasting and prayer just to keep myself focused and strong. Next, we have the Holy Spirit inside of us. He is absolutely interested in you being successful. He quickens our mortal bodies. He is there. So what you need is already inside. It's accessing what you need that becomes the challenge. Paul talked about this in First Corinthians that he, in the Greek, it says he beat his body black and blue. There's this idea of subjugating the flesh, but the Holy Spirit is there to help us to subjugate the flesh. And that's why really building a healthy ecosystem in terms of the fast and all the things we're preparing and having our community participate in makes us more successful and increases the outcome. Moving along, it's important to understand the physical benefits as well. Medical science is now catching up with the scriptures in the area of fasting. In fact, it's becoming almost popular to water fast. It's incredible. There's some great doctors on YouTube. Uh, some are more natural. Uh, other medical, Dr. Jason Fung is someone I like to, to listen to from time to time. And take and listen to a couple of different clips every day or every other day. Take five or 10 minutes out of your day and listen to what's happening in the body when you water fast. Because day one through three is different than days four through 10. And then around day 11 through 14, other things start to happen. So it's really motivating, especially when you have a down day or a blah day. And those days happen uh, that you can keep your mind like, hey, this isn't only like a spiritually a great thing. This is actually doing something for my body that's really going to benefit me from a practical perspective. Keeping the vision front and center, we created the prayer outline. Version two is about to be released. That'll have a, a greater journaling component to it, but keeping the why front and center. This is really about persistence, staying focused. Okay, God, this is what I'm doing. I was sharing with someone recently, like they were discouraged and I was talking to them how when I get discouraged, I have to talk to myself. I have to say, okay, Marcus, let me speak to you and let me encourage you why you are enduring this. Vision gives pain a purpose. It helps us push through. Community, being in a healthy, inspired, motivated community and staying connected is critical. I 
it's not ideal to be in community channels and social media channels only. It's really the principle of presence and physical presence is vital, but there are different ways to participate. In our particular context here, we're doing Zoom prayers together twice a day. We're doing a Friday night meeting. Uh, we'll do a boot camp on a Saturday this month course, Sunday gatherings and things like that as well. But staying connected in community, men's meetings are happening and, and, and spurring one another on is important. Now, I'm not talking about really broadcasting outside of the corporate community, corporate fasting community, because what the scripture says about being discreet about fasting in Matthew chapter six. So I, I'm not suggesting that this becomes a public thing. No, don't, don't hear that. But in the context of your biblical community, which you are a part. So that is critical to stay motivated and not get isolated. Finally, pray every day. Ask the Lord for strength. He is a good God. He will give and he gives us and will continue to strengthen us for this fast. Hey, listen, God has vision and mission for you that is yet to be discovered. This time of fasting, I believe, is ordained of the Holy Spirit. We have options to engage this particular month in community worship and prayer. Come to our fast forward Friday night evenings with worship, prayer, and ministry time, 6.30 to 8 p.m. on the 7th, the 14th, and the 21st. Of course, we have our daily Monday through Friday weekdays. Uh, 6 a.m. hour of life and power. Wow. Of course, our evening calls continue Monday through Thursday nights, 9.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. for those night owls out there. And finally, of course, you won't want to miss whoo, this month's Holy Ghost Boot Camp. The last month, uh, there was a meeting. I've never been in a meeting like it. God was just using so many of the gifts in the room. And this is going to be above nuclear. You want to be there Saturday, January 15th. I love you dearly. Thanks for sticking with me. Make it a great day. Be sure to subscribe and press on. You got this with the Lord.